In this world of rapid change, have you ever asked yourself, what's after, what's next? At Innovation Realize 2018 in Amsterdam, visionaries and thought leaders discussed three categories of next generation digital technology that will change our future. Technologies of decentralization, networking and speed, and human augmentation, resulting in profound implications for individuals and businesses alike. Professor Yuval Harari, author of Sapiens and Homo Deus, says we're seeing the nature of what it is to be human on the verge of momentous change. The merger of Infotech and Biotech is going to upgrade humans into gods. And I mean this literally, not as a metaphor. We are in the process of acquiring abilities of creation and destruction, which traditionally were thought to be divine abilities. Harari sees human augmentation and AI as having the largest impacts. We are going to replace natural selection with intelligent design as the main engine of evolution. And we are going, for the first time, to allow life to break out of the limited realm of organic compounds and start spreading into the vastness of the inorganic realm. The automation revolution will not be a single watershed event following which the job market will just settle down to a new equilibrium. The one thing we do know about the economy and the job market at the middle of the 21st century is that it will be a very volatile job market. But the one thing we don't have to worry about, Harari says, is computers becoming conscious. Intelligence and consciousness are completely different things. Intelligence is the ability to solve problems. Consciousness is the ability to feel things like pain and pleasure and love and hate. All these science fiction movies about robots and computers becoming conscious, they're usually just an allegory for something else. In many of these movies, you have a male scientist who creates a female robot or computer and then falls in love with the robot or the robot tries to kill him or both things happen at the same time. These kinds of movies, they are not about humans being afraid of intelligent robots, they are usually about men being afraid of intelligent women. <laughs> Artificial intelligence, robotics, autonomous vehicles, augmented and virtual reality, brain-machine interfaces, and more will enable something truly remarkable. What's next is really, I think, that business is focusing much, much more than ever before on value creation or actually benefit creation and working together with government and NGOs on addressing some of the issues that are generated as a result of technology and the technology revolution. Harari reminds us that what's next is something we together control. He suggests we would do well to think deeply about where our innovations could lead us and choose the future we want, rather than passively wait for it. If I look back at my life, the one event that really shaped both my life and my view of the world and of history was the peaceful ending of the Cold War. Um, and this is, I think, a, an example which gives a lot of hope for the future. If we manage to overcome that, without a disaster, so there is hope we'll manage to overcome the, the coming challenges in the same way. What's after what's next technologies promise to be disruptive to an unprecedented degree. This should be good news for innovative companies and consumers, but vigilance will be required to watch for any unintended societal consequences and to plant seeds for the future.